Hi, I'm Kirk Pinnell, CTO of SparkFun, and today we're going to talk about the results of a collaboration we had with DigiKey, Harding, Worth, and Analog Devices, and that's the release of single-pair Ethernet. And this is the products we released. It's a single-pair Ethernet Micromod function board, so right here. Fits into our Micromod ecosystem and provides this really unique communication technology into the ecosystem. And as part of this release, we wanted to show a demo. We wanted to show how would you use this robust networking capability in an industrial setting, or something that's really uh, difficult to, with normal networking technology and to monitor something that's important to SparkFun. So we said, well, let's look at a factory. We have a factory here, we have a lot of machines. Um, these things are moving, we use them almost 24 seven. Um, and we wanna make sure they work because our business depends on them. So if you come over here, we have kind of our reflow line where we make all our boards. On the right here, we have our reflow oven. We actually flow the solder and the parts on our boards. And behind it is the pick place machine, which Casey's working on here. And this is actually where we place the components on the products we create. You know, this has a lot of moving parts. It seems like something that would be awesome to uh, leverage this technology to do monitoring. But we realized once we started bolting things on and bringing this in, it might interrupt these actual machines we pay a lot for. And also, we have fantastic and robust network capability here on our production line. But we, did, we were looking for an area at SparkFun that's a little isolated, where there's no network, where there's things that we do want to monitor. And we realized, well, we have this basement. And this basement at SparkFun has a possibility of flooding. And so we have a setup down there to prevent the flooding. And no one's monitoring it. No one's checking out that the, the flood levels. Um, that's to be a perfect a solution and, and example of us using single pair Ethernet to, to monitor the basement pump, pumps. So let's go down there, let's take a look. And so here you're gonna see all of SparkFun, all our exciting things, our manufacturing parts, our kitting department. Um, when you actually order a part from SparkFun, it actually gets packaged and shipped from right over here. But below it all, which some people don't know about, is a basement. Um, very spooky basement. So let's go down there. So this is the SparkFun basement. Um, this is kind of where we throw all our old stuff away. You know, we have an old uh, ABC card here, some barbecues, some very disused and ancient office equipment that looks like it's from the 80s. Um, but what we're looking at here is actually right over here. Um, we actually have a sump well here in the basement. So you can kind of hear the pumps running right now, and I could maybe open this up, and maybe you can see down there, and it's actually, the water table's pretty high here, and the water level keeps rising, and we have the pumps that run about every three to four minutes to kind of keep the water level below, so the basement doesn't flood. And there's actually two pumps here, um, pump one and pump two, and they're never monitored. So if the power goes out or the pumps fail or if the water increases rapidly and the pumps are continually flowing, uh, running, we would never know. We would just come down and you know, come to a flooded basement. Now if people realize this in SparkFun, we're, we're smart here, and, and they actually tried to put a monitoring device, I think Nate did years ago, and there's a leftover. There's an old ESP8266 uh, thing um, with a little sensor on it and a little extra Wi-Fi antenna connection. I um, mean, the extra antenna I saw down there yesterday. But there's no Wi-Fi here, so this didn't work. So it was just abandoned, thrown to the side. Um, so no network, we need to monitor these pumps running. So we thought, well, let's do something with single pair ethernet. Let's bring a network down through single pair ethernet and use our Micromod ecosystem and our quick ecosystem to put some sensors on the pipes and deploy something to monitor our flooding possibilities or you know, pump running down here in the basement. So what, what we actually have in the deployment here is we put two sensors, one on each of these outflow pipes, they're actually accelerometers to monitor the vibration of the pipe. So as the pumps run, and you can hear them, uh, the pipes vibrate and then when the pumps shut down there's a big, you know, large vibration during the shutdown process. So we're monitoring the vibration with these um, very sensitive accelerometers, quick boards, and then we're actually routing that up to up here, which is a micromod a uh, um, main board, single main board, with a single pair ethernet connection, uh, a, a connection to our quick system, to the quick sensors, power supply, and then I put, we put a little LED up there to indicate when the pumps are on or off. So this is actually 
detecting when the pumps are on or off, putting together a message, a package of that uh, information, so the data from the accelerometers, and if the pump is on and off, and sending that package through single pair Ethernet up to our corporate network. And we have a place up uh, we'll go to next where we take that single pair Ethernet data package and convert it into a corporate normal standard Ethernet. So as, a, as these pumps roll or run, and it's about every couple, three minutes, um, we'll detect the pumps come on or off. So let's go up and see where this actually gets converted over. So we'll go back to the main floor, and that actually has access to the, uh, the corporate network, and we'll go to kind of a utility room where we bridge from single pair Ethernet to a standard Ethernet connection on our corporate network. And then from there, we send the data to a uh, IoT server that's internal to our uh, network server here at SparkFun. So back to the main floor, back to the warehouse. And we'll go to a, kind of a utility closet or fire closet. And here we're right above the basement. Well, there's you know, probably a foot or two of concrete. Um, but if you look, you know, we've routed that single pair Ethernet cable up. And again, we come to another Micromod um, in installation. And this has you know, a double board. So it's a, a processor, a single pair Ethernet board, and a standard PoE Ethernet board. And it's actually powered by power over Ethernet. So we bring in the data from the basement, and then we relay that over to the standard corporate network. And that goes to an IoT server um, from Machine Chat, um, which we'll talk about later. And then that takes that data and we can plot it. So monitor the pump operation over time. We can do alerts. So if the pumps are running too often or not running at all, the uh, machine chat will send an email and a text alert. So we know, that, hey, we need to go look at the basement. Um, so instead of having no monitoring at all in the basement, now we have something that's doing data collection 24 seven, routes it up through single pair ethernet, puts it on our corporate network and sends it to our IoT server. And we feel a little more secure here at SparkFun, so we're not going to flood. Um, at least the ba basement's not going to flood, and um, you know, we'll have normal operations. And that's kind of what we've done for the demo for single pair Ethernet here at uh, headquarters. Well, now that we actually have seen you know, the hardware we deployed and actually uh, the system we wanted to monitor, those, those pumps in our basement, I thought it'd be important to really show the actual overall system, give a good system view. Um, so here's a couple slides to do that. Um, on this first slide, this is actually what we implemented and how the operation works. Um, and you kind of see the cartoons or graphics of the systems in place. So in the basement, as we showed downstairs, we have a, a basement and we have a, a sump and two sump pumps. And the pumps are actually running independently. So one pump runs and then another pump runs. And they kind of go back and forth. And we've attached sensors, uh, accelerometer sensors, to the outflow pipes of each pump. So as they're running, the sensors will detect the vibrations. They're very high accuracy, uh, quick board uh, vibration sensors. And we use those to um, detect when the pump's running and not running. And then we actually will take that data and collect it on our Micromod um, single board downstairs that has a uh, single pair Ethernet and an uh, Artemis processor on it. And we, we saw that downstairs when we put a little LCD, LED OLED screen on there to show which pump, when pumps are running and when it's not. And as the data is collected at a regular interval, we'll put those into messages and pump data messages, and we send those across single pair Ethernet up to a location that actually has corporate network access. And that was that auxiliary room we saw on our main floor just outside the warehouse. And in that auxiliary room, again, we have a uh, Micromod main board with a, uh, a single pair Ethernet uh, function board and actually a normal Ethernet function board and an RP2040, a Raspberry Pi processor on there to kind of do, do the coordination. And really what that does, it receives messages over a uh, single pair Ethernet um, and really that's just a string, it's actually a JSON package, data package. And then we just relay that to our IoT server through standard Ethernet. And um, this all runs off power Ethernet, PoE, power over Ethernet, on our corporate network. And that data is then sent to a machine chat server. Machine chat's um, kind of an on-site, on-premise IoT platform that can take data, usually formatted in JSON format. And then we can actually build a dashboard with plots and alerts and actually monitor 
what's happening with our pumps in our basement and, and send notifications if something seems abnormal. So is a pump not running and indicating maybe the flood water's gonna, or are the pumps running constantly? Is the frequency or, or I'll say duty cycle on the pumps so high that it, it's indicating the level of the water in the sump is getting high? Um, and then we can take appropriate action as needed. But we're monitoring that and using this tool to do that. And you know, later on we'll show some uh, dashboard, uh, machine jack dashboard and how that works in the data we're monitoring. On the next slide, and this is really the same system, but a little more detail of each individual component, how it all actually fits together geographically. So we have the basement, we have our vi quick vibration sensors using our quick system. Those are on the outflow pipes of the sump pumps. And that goes into our MicroMod single main board, and that has an Artemis module, so that's for the processor a single pair ethernet function board, and again, we're connecting to Quick. And as the data is collected, it's put into a JSON um, formatted data package and sent across single pair ethernet. That goes up through the concrete floor, up to the auxiliary room, and there we have a Micromod double main board. It's using an RP2040, a Raspberry Pi 2040 Micromod processor, has a single pair ethernet function board, and a PoE or standard ethernet function board. So this way we're br bridging the two communication protocols um, to relay data into our corporate network. And really what this board is doing is just taking the data from single pair Ethernet and sending it through an IP address of our corporate network server um, that's running machine chat. And that just sends that along and against a standard corporate network. And that goes to our machine, machine chat server, um, which is actually here in SparkFun. It's running on a Linux machine and that runs software that collects and receives of the data from the system as a, in a JSON format. Um, we're sending the data right now every uh, second and a half, and that's gonna indicate the actual vibration data, the, the accelerometer data from each sensor, and if the pump is running or if it's not. And then from there we can create dashboards, we can do monitoring and send alerts out to the system and out to the people that are important, are paying attention to the building, so our facilities people and our IT people. And then you know, let's go over and look at our, you know, what we're doing on Machine Chat. And you know, Machine Chat, you know, it's basically got a web web enabled system to actually look at the data. So here we have a web browser that includes that. And we've gone to a data dashboard, and each of these dashboards is kind of a line plot that actually shows the operation of each of our pumps and the actual accelerometer data associated with each pump. So you can see if you look at the accelerometer data, the fluctuations in vibration, and they kind of, if you really look closely, you can see how the pumps are on and off. So when one, pump one comes on, you'll see different a signal um, with the vibration data, and when it goes off, it'll actually collapse into kind of a base state, and you get overall frequency. Um, and same with pump two, uh, again on the dashboard. And then we're also plotting when a pump on, is on and off. And as we collect more and more of this data, we'll, we can identify nominal trends in the actual operation of the pumps, and then use those nominal trends to d determine our abnormal conditions we want to alert somebody and those are just set those alerts are just set up here in a machine chat and we you know, give them a, an SMS number give them my phone number and uh, some email addresses of our IT and uh, facility staff to know when there's an issue we should probably go down to the basement um, and take take a look at our sump pumps and that's really the overall um, operation of the system and hopefully that was informative and it really we think it really shows a unique way of employing single pair Ethernet to really do a real world uh, solution that actually will help spark fun.